Honorable Henry Musasizi, the State Minister in Charge of General Duties and the Minister of Finance, planning and economic development announced a six-month period, which is now ending, following the conflict between the taxpayers and tax body that left scores dead in the region. As a result, Uganda Revenue Authority operations in relation to impounding of numberless motorcycles were halted, and issuance of number plates put at half price, which aimed at enabling the cyclists to have access to number plates at affordable rate. This came at a time where numberless bikes were identified as a factor, causing the rift between the taxpayers and the tax body. Ajiga Manshur, the head of customs at the rural office, warned the public, most especially those who have not registered their motorcycles, to take advantage of the remaining days. The period granted for promotion is almost coming to an end, and we are left with only less than a week, about a week. For this period to come to an end and by this it means we are going to go back to the original prices for registering motorbike by the first of july next year next financial year so so far since this period was granted we have registered a number of around uh, 1500 motorbikes that's the number so far by yesterday we have i think i would like to take this opportunity to thank all those people who took this up and uh, managed to have their motorbikes registered Anguya Dinan, a beneficiary of the period appreciates Uganda Revenue Authority for easing the process in West Nasa region. I'm called Anguya Dinan. I'm a border border profession. Uh, by the time I bought my motorbike, I just take to direct to the URA office. They start to working on it. After they are working on it, it takes something like uh, two weeks. Uh, and then from there, they have, uh, they have given for me uh, some receipts which I used for emergence on my motorbike. When that two weeks uh, uh, reaches, they call me, I get a message from my email. They just call me that, ah, uh, guy, you come and pick your number plate. Then from there, I just pick my number plate. I started to use it. So there is no much difficulties for from there. Yes. Meanwhile, other riders have this to say as a challenge, which they encounter in a bid to have their bikes registered. The numbers are taking long, and when we are facing challenges after those papers they give us from the revenue, and those papers are already old, they just when they're already old, automatically we get challenges of uh, police, uh, even the same revenues, because when the, 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 when the things are written, when the papers are faded, they cannot see, they will believe this number is fake. Uganda number plate is very funny compared to other number plates, the whole Africa. Uganda's number plate is the expensive one. 830 is still very expensive in it. Uganda's today's economy. Let me give you an example just here in our neighboring uh, country, South Sudan. South Sudan's number plate is 150,000. Why is Uganda number plate very expensive like this? Meanwhile, Elmad Salim, the chairperson of the Border Rural City, appreciates Uganda Revenue Authority for the period granted. Uh, concerning about uh, the URIA promotion that is uh, soon coming to an end, uh, we really appreciate uh, the service that they have given us. Though it was with some difficulties, we really appreciate it. Six months has been uh, a quite long period of time. And uh, I also appreciate the border borders, those ones who impressed the promotion by coming to register their machines, that is the motorcycles. The promotional period which was granted at the beginning of the year will expire at the end of the month, where normal operations shall resume on effective of July. Farish Majid, West Nile TV, Nalcast.